Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a laptop to fix. Hmm? Ryzen 7 and AMD Radeon. Hmm? What do you think about this? This comes from a local repair shop. Low light while displaying backlight. Uh, we can see here, you can see the, the, the picture, like, I don't know if you can see it. Oh wait, the picture is goes. No, it's not anymore, it was here. Yeah. Anyway. Do you believe in coincidence? That's my question. Huh? Do you believe in coincidence? <laughs> Uh, you know my other channel. Where is my other channel? Well, let, let me log in on my other channel. One second. Give me one second. Give me one second. Yeah. I logged in. It's not there anymore. That's crazy. <laughs> it disappeared. I can't believe. Nah, it's not there anymore. It's, it's not there anymore. Yeah, the message. Where is screen capture? This one. It's not, it's not here. The message is not here anymore. You know my other channel. Uh, I got the same problem. But exactly the same problem, like on my channel. So check here. Yeah, check the picture. Check the picture. You see the message, us has been limited on one or more of your videos due to invalid traffic. You can see here. So basically they screw up even my second channel. So on this point, I really believe actually YouTube wants me out from the, from the platform. <laughs> Remember what I told you, repairs is not something you want to be associated in 2023. Because it's against the nature of the society. We are a society, you know, is getting broken in front of the bin by another one. Okay, so uh, good. What we should do? I, I'm not sure what should. I, I think we should go straight to the screen, right? No, we can't because this is a slim screen, right? It is a slim screen. One second. Oh, no, 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 no. The, the screen has been replaced. Why the screen is moving? That's that kind of screen which is stuck on the back. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's go on the back of the screen, yeah? Yeah, but yeah, we are, uh, yeah, clearly the skin has been replaced, huh? or has been open anyway. Uh, clearly it's not that kind of content uh, YouTube wanted uh, here. Well, what we can do, you know? You think I'll stop repairing or what? Ah. The people it will still repair the things, no matter what YouTube wants. Okay, so what do we have here? How we can fix this? First, we have to check the free signals. You remember the 19 volts, uh, the LED on, and the dim signal. That's what we have to check. Yeah, you're right. The battery is still plugged in. If that's what you try to you try to remind me. I can hear it from the from here. You want to tell me the battery is still plugged in, right? Yeah, I know. I know. That's what makes this job more exciting. You know, just adding a little bit of risk. Yeah, you, know, you need you need you need some you know some adrenaline. Though.
Okay, so check here. Yeah, what do we have here? We have the inverter clearly. Here is the inverter. Here is the the key, the cable. Yeah, the LED cable. So we have to pay attention on the inverter. Yeah, let's go under the microscope. See what we can see from here. So what we can see from here, nothing. We have a chip, but I can't see the dim signals. I mean, I know where they are, but here is no helpful on the connector. Yeah. So we have to find them here. Yeah, check that fuse. Lol. You can see that fuse. Let's check if we have nineteen. Let's see. Yeah, we have lol. We have we we what? Oh, I'm on two volts range. Sorry, two volts range. Let's see what we have here. 12.7, you can't see, because I forgot to bring the multimeter on screen. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, so we have 12.7 volts. Here we have 12.7. On the output of the diode, we have 12.7. And obviously, the output of the diode is going here. And we have 12.7. Where? Wait, what do we have? We don't. Why we have no voltage here? Huh? Mm, I don't know why. 12.7. 12.7. Check here. We have a bunch of trucks. You know what? You know what? You know what? Let me power on the laptop. We are. Uh... Yeah, the laptop is on. Yeah, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. The problem is. Here we have 12.7. Okay. So we have no backlight, that's the problem. Here we have nothing. And here we have nothing. So the laptop it is on on this moment. So how we can fix this? One second. So we have one truck there. We get one truck here. We have two trucks here. Here we have 3.2. And here we have 3.2. But the inverter is off. Let's check on the other side of the screen. Power off, good. Let's see what do we have here. What do we have here? So we are looking for what? Check there, check there, check there, check there. LED PWM and LED enable. Yeah. For for that you are looking, yeah. And they have to be 3.3. .3. So I'll power on the laptop. Okay, the laptop it is on. And I will gonna check to see what voltages I have there. I just need a quick check. So this one is zero and this one is zero and the laptop it's on because i have the caps lock on so both signals are zero you can see yeah and doesn't have to be zero you're right hmm. 
The solution. The solution is very simple. You are replacing your IO chip, probably. Huh? Yeah, the cut lock is still on. So we have zero point something there, right? That's mean we should find those voltages here on this side. Let's see. So I see zero point something here, if I remember. So I see here. Let me see if the laptop is on. Yeah, it is on. So here what we have, here we have zero. Here we have zero. Here we have zero. Here we have zero point one. And here we have zero. Okay, we have to match those signals with the connector. But we can't because we can't take the connector out, right? Yeah. So why both signals are missing? I mean, it's kind of, usually I see like one signal missing. And that's all. But this one has both signal missing. Okay, the laptop is on. The cut lock is working. No, it's not working. <clears throat> okay, let's power off the laptop. Let's do some crazy things like unplugging the screen connector with the battery. Okay, the screen connector is unplugged anyway. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's okay. Nothing to worry about. We are lucky. And if we are not lucky, oh, I don't know. So let's see. What do we have there? So we have this resistor, right? Yeah, and it's coming here. Good. And we have this resistor. Okay, this one is not coming there. Let's let's check. So it has to come after a resistor, right? Okay. No, it's not this one. And it's not this one. No? No, okay, so we have a problem finding a signal. We have a problem finding one signal. Where they are going. So one track is going to the board and this one, this one is coming here. PWM in. So on the other side, it is the connector, right? No, it's not. Okay, that's, that, that's, you know, that sucks because I have to find those tracks uh, where they are going on the other side of the board. Where they are going. I can't even see them. Yeah, I see them now. So where the track is going from here? Yeah, I found it. One I found it. And the second one. Yeah. 
Yeah, I found it. I found it. I found it. So let's have a look one more time. So basically, are those two trucks from here? Those two. Yeah? So let's try to do a trick. Let me grab a piece of wire. Now the chip is not faulty, the voltage is missing from here. That's the problem. Yeah, you can't see properly because uh, of the metal of the screen. Can we do it? Yeah, we can. So the wire is sold. Huh? And we are soldering the wire where? Let's check for a fuse, yeah? Check for a fuse. Here, you see that fuse? So that fuse, oh, I'm not sure. That fuse is 3.3 or not. Let's check with the multimeter, see where it's going. So this fuse, no, that fuse is 3.3. That fuse is 3.3. Must be 3.3 because I'm saying it's 3.3. Uh, it's working like that. Uh, I can't solder with my, with my right hand. I can't solder with the right hand. Any flux? Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Yeah, no problem. We have a capacitor there. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that's fine. So the question is, it will work or not? Hmm? That's a question. It will work or not? So uh, we supply three point three to both signals. Yeah. To LED on and uh, PWM. Let's see, still working our graphic chip? Yeah, no smoke. Power on.
Oh, no, it's not working. Ah, we have logo, no picture. That's sick. Let's see. Let's see what we did wrong. So the wire, it is soldered. Let's see what voltage do we have there. there. We have 3.3 like how I said, yeah? There we have 3.3. That's mean on the both pins we have 3.3. So why my inverter is not working? Hmm? So both wires are solder. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, so here, 3.2, yeah, and here, 3.2. LOL. Check that. Check that. What is the voltage? 23 volts. So the inverter is on. The inverter is on, but the LED is dead. So we have 23 volts, that means we've done a great job. But the LEDs are dead, that's the problem. And I spotted from the beginning, you remember when we checked the voltage and I said we have 19 here, we should have 19 here. So either the LED are on or is something else here. We're gonna figure it out, but what we did is working, okay? So what we did is working. So here we have 23 volts, right? That means the booster is working. And that thingy should come here on this connector. And here we have like one volt, zero, 23 volts. We have 23 volts. Oh, lol. So we do have voltage on the, on the, on the LED connector. What is that? The, the screen, the LEDs are dead. The LEDs are dead. Uh, the connector is fine. The problem is I can't see a connection. I can't see the connection between the missing signal and uh, the fact the LEDs but how the LEDs are gone that sucks you know <sighs> the screen LEDs are dead we have 23 volts there, we should have picture. You don't think? Something is going, uh, is going on here and I don't know what. So uh, you remember we checked the fuse and the fuse was good, you remember? So let me understand, before the fuse we have 12. After the fuse, we have four volts. And after the diode, we have 23 volts. Check here, 23 volts. So how this is possible? How this fuse, 12.4, and here, four of four volts. And you'll say, yeah, sorry, it's a dead fuse. It's a burn fuse. If it's a burn fuse, why my fuse is getting warm? So check there. You can see that on the front of the coil. Why the a fuse, it will get hot. This is crazy. You know what I will do? I'll come with the I'll come with the power supply with low current. Yeah, low current. After the fuse. And the screen is working. Lol. The screen has backlight. Check there. So that fuse is gone. Don't 
to unplug the screen. That's what you said. <laughs> but listen, listen, listen. So I mean a doctor can perform like brain surgeries and heart surgeries, you know, without disconnecting the things. I can't see why we should disconnect the things. Huh? I mean, why? They are better than us? I can't believe that. No, no, no. No, I can't believe that. Now, we should be able to do exactly the same thing what doctors are doing. You agree with me? Yeah, probably. Probably. But, but pay attention on the inverter. So actually the inverter is quite good with 4 volts. I get like 23 volts on the output. LOL. Quite good, quite good. We need a proper calibrated fuse. Hmm? Okay. But I didn't know about the fuse because, you know what, I bet, you know, I bet, just because the fuse is getting hot. If I take the my wire out, that means the inverter, it will be off. That means my fuse, it will have uh, the battery voltage, 12 volts, even before, same like after. So you understand what's the cache here. So here are two different faults. We know connection, what, one with the other. Good, perfect. That fuse is solder. Hmm? Now the screen will work. Power on. <laughs> what did you said? Brain surgery? <laughs> you see, actually you know, having two different faults, like completely different, because uh, those signals are missing. Yeah, that's the reason, that's the reason why we had uh, 12 volts on the both sides of the fuse. So that fuse, which is weird, I swear I, swear I never found something like that. This is the first time. But actually a fuse acting as a resistor. Never seen something like that. I mean, a fuse is blow up or working, right? Or maybe those are some special fuses, as you know, like the thermistors. Yeah, so thermistor. You know, when the thermistor is cold, the one with the negative uh, or positive. I don't remember. The one when it's cold has like zero ohms, and uh, when it's getting hot, the resistance is increasing. Or the other way around, when it's hot. The resistance is high, but the current is flowing, it's getting hot, and the resistance is going low. Yeah, can be. Pretty weird. Anyway, we fix the laptop. That's what is important. This is a cheap job. It's coming from a local repair shop. And remember, I do like half-half with the repair shops. So, uh, yeah, even buying a new screen, you still have that signal missing. And that signal that they are coming from the EC chip. I mean, yeah, I don't know, can be like some, I don't know, some bias issue. But what's the point when I can, I can use two wires and I done the job? You cannot adjust the brightness, you're right. You cannot do it. But, you know, it's a working laptop, a cheap repair, what you can expect. Mm -hmm.
you know what? This sucks. You know this. I think it was some Acer with this kind of design, like weird design. You have to put this behind of that thingy. Yeah, this is proper sick. Yeah, Acer or Asus. You remember it? It is one. You know, it's a lot of work to put back that thingy. So you have to take this out, and this is not coming out like. Nah, probably I have to take the screen out to take this out. Nah. Okay, that's crazy. Or maybe I can just pull it. Yeah, maybe. One second. Yeah, I can. Lol. Okay, this is more easier compared with the uh, compared with that Asus one. You remember? But you know what, uh, just was like a second thing, and I think, you know what, why do I have only 23 volts? They're kind of low, you know, 23 volts. And uh, I mean, there should be like nearly 40 volts. So uh, I checked with the thermal camera, and yeah. I seen that fuse. That fuse, you know. Hmm. Tricky fault. Tricky fault. Yeah, all good. Huh? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, job done. Okay. Fantastic. Let's switch it off. And the little bit's off. Hmm? Okay, good. So uh, I will stop here. You know, hopefully this uh, video is helpful for you. I would say thank you for watching. You know, don't like because uh, this is a members only video, so it's no point liking. And uh, see you on the next one. Right? Huh? I still have a few jobs here, yeah. It's dodgy? Yeah, it is dodgy, but what you can do? You say no to a repair just because you want to do it like in a proper way and no. No, not really. Okay? Bye.